welcome back to Incognito Gaming. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm doing a speed build. I am going to put it out there. I'm not the best builder, but I am doing a collaboration with the forever lovely Lissy Build. I've done a shell, she's done a shell, and then we've swapped. On the screen at the moment is my shell that I created for her. Now, we did a challenge of 100 tiles only. I think we both, oddly, went for the same style of Granny's and Grandpa's house. Tiny, cute, the works. The packs we're using are base game, seasons, and parenting, because seasons is my favourite, parenting is Lissy's favourite. Now the roof is going to give me some difficulties. You're going to see me play with this roof for a while. Because I do. I hate roofing. Who's with me? Who hates roofing? Sims, team, give us automatic roofing again. Please, I beg you. I hate roofing. And the roof, look at the roof, it's still giving me bother. I'm still playing with the roof. There's nothing worse than spending most of your life trying to roof a house and even then it doesn't look right. So whilst you can see me changing all the different bits, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself actually. I am a gamer, I've always been a gamer, I've been a gamer for a long time. I have played on the Sega Mega Drive and the Master System. No judging as to how old I am or my age there please, thank you very much. I was playing a bit of Alex the Kid and Sonic and all that kind of stuff and I discovered The Sims a few years ago and played The Sims 2 quite regularly and then now we're back in The Sims 4. I have recently been playing Among Us, which I absolutely love. I think it's a brilliant little game, and I'm always up for, for a game of that. And I really love Fortnite. In fact, the reason I'm so tired today is because I was up until midnight playing Fortnite last night, which is not good when you've got to get up and do the school run in the morning. Now, as you can see, I do love a pretty garden, lots of flowers, and obviously I always use the BB Dot Move objects on because who doesn't? Let's be fair, who doesn't? The wonder of BB Move objects is the fact that you can just put them anywhere. I could put flowers on the roof if I wanted to. Obviously, I'm not going to, but I could. I could. This is one of the smallest plots on Newcrest. It's only the 15 by 20, so actually trying to get it to do it completely and get it a nice, comfortable build. A little bit of fiddling about with it, and it finally came to a nice little, cosy little grandma house. And I do like a window box, I'm not gonna lie. Trying to put the barbecue, obviously with the foundation. Foundations are broken in The Sims 4. They do not work, foundations have not worked, and I don't really know why I used it. I should never have used it. Using the terrain tool, adding a little bit of terrain. Can't have a perfect garden, nobody has a perfect garden. And then we've got some daisies on the front garden, because who doesn't need daisies in their life? Not forgetting the bins and all that kind of stuff. And then we fiddle around with the flowers and stuff just to make sure they're not floating or growing through the ground. If you head over to Lissy, you can see how she decorates it and does the furnishings on the inside and the outside. Obviously, both will be available to download from the gallery. Lissy will give you all the details of the build that she's done. And here is the finished version. I cannot thank Lissy enough. She is the most amazing builder. I've watched her videos a lot now over the last few months. The things that she can do with buildings is just amazing. She can use things that I would never imagine to use in her builds. The kitchen looks just fabulous. I've never seen that fruit bowl in The Sims at all. There's a round one. I've never seen that one before. But the lovely decorations on the wall, it gives it a really homely cozy touch it's really good even down to the you know the shoes by the door this little nook here like a little study nook looks really cool as well you've got things on the walls and the laptops and and the clutter she's the queen of clutter there's no doubt about that complete queen of clutter and moving on to the bedroom nice double bed and the fact that she's even used two dresses together is is genius it's a very clever idea i love her color schemes throughout she matches all the colors the pictures the walls they all just look so amazing and she's even managed to squeeze in a little bathroom there as well along with a full-size dining table and the fruit bowl that i recognize that's the fruit bowl that i recognize from the sims not the other one she's also added a couple of trees here and there and a gnome in the bird bath which i think is very very clever it's a really, really great build and it will be available on the gallery to download. All details will be listed below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that notifications bell and then you'll be notified next time I post my video.